the first and the second floor here at Haunch Venison uh, comprise um, a, a series of works, which are ten separate paintings, but part of a, a series um, called Blacklist, which is a work I made last year, which is um, ten large landscape paintings, format paintings, in actually sort of film format, in format of the aspect ratio of a film, but with a sort of imaginary letterbox cropping in there, suggesting that the titles of a film are scrolling up from the bottom to the top of the screen, painted with a, um, deliberately to sort of evoke that luminosity that you get of when, when film is projected, when it's slightly out of sync and you get that halo around the text of the film. I think the reason why um, I wanted to use film credits was, was for a couple of reasons. One was just that a long time ago I'd wanted to make a work, an, an animation using film credits. Um, a lot of the work that um, I've, I've made over the years has been has reference film in some way. Um, but it's often to do with the ends of things or the things that have been slightly overlooked. There is a visual element to these paintings. Although they're graphic, they're also quite hard to look at because of the, the uh, sort of halo around the, the text. They're quite hard to focus on. You think there's something wrong with your eyesight after a while. It was more about, include, about the work sort of escalating from the first from the beginning as almost like titles and then becoming like the credits. Like starting with Elaine and Saul Bass, the famous credit, you know, design titles for films like Man of the Golden Arm and Spartacus and innumerable great opening sequences, which you can almost say are as good as the films in themselves. You know. um, and he was a sort of an aspiring filmmaker and they were both sort of aspiring filmmakers. He even won an Oscar for a short film he made many years ago. Um, but then the, then the idea was that the, the, it sort of escalates, that the, the, or it begins to break down is really the word, that it, it, it's starting to insert the names of people who are the protagonists or the victims of the blacklist, you know, Pat McCarran or, or um, McCarthy or whoever. The name sort of stands in for a person. It stand, it's, it's also, it has a sound which, um, or a, a, a note to it, depending on who it is what it sounds like. Um, so going back to the sort of slightly synesthetic aspect, which has always been something that's appealed to me, is that it's possibly the, the sounds of people's names. But also um, them standing in for a portrait, of, of doing away with the idea of portraiture. I'm not quite sure why, why, I've, uh, why I've really settled on that, but it's, it's, it's partly the sound of it and the look of it.